There's several different um, whitening kits on the market. This is an example of one um, that's a custom made tray by your dentist, as you can see fits on very nice and tightly to your teeth there and um, you can see the indentations on each tooth um, it's not going to be falling out and it has really good close, close contact with the gel this is one that you can buy online um, as you can see if I take this one out it's probably you know kind of a similar shape there um, but the difference really is that this one doesn't really have good contact with your teeth it's quite loose you're meant to with this particular one put it into water and it comes out looking a little bit like this so again even though you've kind of customized this at home it's not really great in in the shape of it certainly you can't see any indentations or clear demarcations of any teeth um, with the gel so this is a professional gel and this is um, a gel bought online um, the gels bought online don't really have any um, hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide in there which is the active agent in tooth whitening gel um, if anything um, they might have some acidic like citric acid content in there or maybe some coconut oil really if you wear this inside these loose with fitting trays that they're provided with um, they can end up causing some amount of damage perhaps or maybe if you end up ingesting it so certainly they'll only have minimal whitening effects if any because they might remove some extrinsic stains on your teeth by um, any acid, acidic effect that they have but certainly they won't have any whitening effect on your teeth um, whereas the custom made trays with the um, peroxide gel will definitely change the base shade of your teeth and have a good whitening effect. Okay, so these are a range of whitening systems and different trays. Um, as you can see, these are the custom made um, trays that I've made for one of my patients. You can see that they are very, very close fitting, um, molded for each tooth, and they are not loose. They Once they're on, they're quite nice and tight. Um, so things for you to check yourself is the scalloped edges. To make sure they're comfortable around your gums and that you can see each tooth indentation, which you can see in this, um, in this case over here. Um, these are used with the correct gel, which, cor which contain 16% um, carbamide peroxide in this case, because this is polar night, um, but you do get daytime syringes as well with hydrogen peroxide in there. These are some of the ones that we've trialed. So this is the bright one. We tried that a little bit earlier. And as you can see, you dip it in hot water, you mold it to your teeth, you get some sort of indentation, but really generally it was still quite loose fitting. I'll try it on here. Um, it's not really very much holding it in. It works with this gel, which doesn't really have any hydrogen peroxide in there. Um, maybe some acid, um, light acid, acidic effect to uh, remove any extrinsic stains. And it comes with this light over here, which is an LED light. No different than probably some sort of um, ceiling light that you might have at home. It may work in terms of drying your teeth out, um, dehydrating them. and maybe some sensitivity due to the heat, although LEDs don't really have a lot of heat, so probably just more the dehydrating effect. Um, but I can't see that that's um, you know, well molded or easy to use at all. The next one's down there, the high smells, very popular, but these are not moldable at all. This is really quite a large tray, um, lots of chance for the gel to mix in with your saliva for you to actually swallow the stuff. Fits like this, again, very easy for that to sort of fall out and for it to move works with a small light once again um, but certainly no not very molded to the teeth and the last one is this teeth whitening pen by yes smile um, so this comes with a pen with some percentage of hydrogen peroxide it doesn't say what percentage really but it's probably a very very low percentage um, you literally paint this onto your teeth and then you put this UV light over the top. UV light itself can be quite dangerous. When we use it in practice, um, as a dentist we always put an orange light guard over it, um, but for you to use at home do be careful with your eyes because it sort of can be dangerous, especially with young children. 
um, and especially if you're looking at it every day, um, which is what it sort of advises you to do to use it on a regular basis.